Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've uh, made a video, but we're going to have a little bit of a change. So Darren's workshop now is going to be more focusing on what you can do with a smaller lathe, um, like, a, like a wood turning lathe. Um, now what I've been making is a lot of pens recently. So we have you know, an acrylic blank, which I buy off eBay, pen kits, this is a, a chrome, no it's not, sorry it's a silver pen kit, a uh, twist ballpoint pen. Um, so we'll show you how to make a pen. There's a few things you need. You need a drill, you need a 7mm drill bit, you need, sorry about moving the camera, some barrel trimmers. So basically once you, I'll show you how the kit goes together, but you need these for trimming up the ends of the blanks to form square ends. I personally have the um, pen mandrel, so that goes into the, the chuck end. The pen kit goes on here, this goes into the tailstock, one locates into the other, and it's a fairly um, solid connection so nothing moves on this shaft so we get a fine finer finish on the uh, on the pens themselves on the pen bodies we also need for finishing some microfiber micro mesh sanding pads which we add water to and then we use that for polishing the acrylic so uh, without further ado let's show how to make basic ballpoint twist action pen We'll look at the kit to see how that goes together. So we have two barrels which need to be inserted into the body of the, uh, the, the, the blank. So that's the two parts of the body barrels. Obviously we have the refill, we have the, the nib end, we have a little centre detail part, the clip, and the end cap, as well as the mechanical twist action part. So what we're going to do first, let's move those to one side. is we're going to mark on the bottom of the blank the length of each barrel, brass barrel and now we'll cut those what I use is a tenon saw so I'm just going to cut those, we're back in a moment Now we end up with a little off cut. What I do is I save all these and ultimately we'll come in for another project whether I re-drill them, turn it into a multi-piece pen or we'll use it in another way but uh, save, all, save all your off cuts, you never know. So this is my lathe. This is a, uh, a Warco wood turning lathe. Um, I've, I bought it new quite happy with it, it does everything it, uh, everything I wanted to do. I bought a few attachments, so I bought a little chuck, uh, which I've got the various chuck diameter um, 
holders in but basically like, this is the one I use for pens so that screws onto the headstock and then I have another attachment which is a drill which goes on the uh, a chuck which goes on the tailstock would have been a uh, it's an MT2 taper so it, uh, it just automatically locks itself I now need a 7mm drill bit which is, uh, which is what this one is I'm going to get my first blank and uh, actually I'm just going to move you in slightly so that's my acrylic blank which has been cut down to the same length as the uh, brass tube now I have a, a cut end which I've just cut on the saw and a machined end from uh, how the blank was made so basically I put the good end, the, uh, the, the, the poured the uh, machined end, into the chuck so as it sort of forms a flat end. Jiggle it around until it, all the much movement is taken out as possible and a quick tighten up. I now bring the chuck up with the drill bit, centre it. And now we can turn the uh, turn the lathe on. So I'm going to run it at the slowest speed, and I'm just going to drill straight through. Now with acrylic, you do need a good sharp drill bit, and I keep moving in and out just to clear the drill. That's it, we're now through. Clean the drill bit. And you can see, got a nice hole through there. So I should do the second one. One thing I forgot to mention before I cut the blank up. Now, it doesn't matter too much on this one because the pattern is quite prominent. But I want to match each end, I want to match the pen up, so when it goes together it, uh, it looks right. So as you can see there, the pattern matches. So what I'm going to do is take my marker and I'm going to draw a line across. That way I know where the middle of the pen is. What I would normally do when I'm marking the, the length of the barrels to cut the acrylic is I would uh, I'd put the line across, line across and then just put a line across the centre, horizontal uh, just so as I know that those two ends go together. Ok now we need to prepare the, the two barrels for gluing because we're going to glue the barrel into the acrylic body. So what we need to do is to sand, just put a little bit of unevenness if you like on the barrel, on the brass body barrel, just so as it uh, helps the adhesive stick.
what I use, I use a two-part epoxy resin, which is uh, an aldite. Uh, always used it, had no issues with it. So I uh, just find a little bit of scrap paper, scrap cardboard, and I want just enough to glue those two barrels into the uh, bodies of the, the acrylic bod uh, blanks. So I'll just use a, a little bit of that. That's the resin. Sorry, that's not a resin, that's the hardener. This is the resin. I'm just going to use 50-50. Get out a mix up. Now what I do is I just put a dollop around the top of the pen body, the brass body, and then just slowly work it down to about halfway. Now I find the cut end, which has got the line on it, I insert it in, just twisting it backwards and forwards just so as make sure, to make sure we get a, an adhesive covering along the body of the uh, brass. That is done. Now the second one. Some people use CA glue. Um, I did try it a couple of times, but uh, I felt it was quite thin, so I uh, I actually prefer using the uh, the epoxy. take the excess off and that is it that's why we'll just get rid of that so I now leave these blanks for 24 hours to cool to uh, to cool no not to cool to uh, to dry and then once they're dried I'll be back so in your time It'll be um, seconds, but to me it'll be 24 hours. See you in a moment. Okay, we're now on the next uh, next day. The adhesive's dried in the uh, in the blank, so we're going to use the bowel trimmer to basically square off the end of the acrylic blank. So what I do is I put a piece of wood in the vise that stops the uh, the blank moving downwards. And I do that until I'm shiny on the end of the brass. You can just see it shining. Do the other end. See that? Now we'll do the second one. So I'm going to put the pen mandrel on now. This is onto the headstock. So again it's a uh, MT2 fitting so it uh, it just locates and tightens, self-tightening. Same on the uh, opposite end. Now with every type of pen that you make, pen or pencil kit, you generally get a set of 
you can buy a set of bushes which allow you to trim the blanks down to the right diameters for the pen kit to work. So on this one we're going to use the 7mm um, slimline ballpoint pen bushing kit. They're all the same so we we'll slot one on first. Then we put the blanks on. Now as you can see we've got the pen, pen mark there. It doesn't matter with these because they're both the same length so what it doesn't matter which end we go. So we'll slot the first one on, then another bushing, then the other half. Again there's the pen mark so that centres pen mark, pen mark together. Last bushing. And tighten the tailstock. sure that spins, that's fine. Okay, we're all ready. Now the tool that I use for turning is a carbide, round carbide tool which I've uh, I've made in uh, put a handle on. Uh, again, works uh, it works really well. Good, nice, clean cuts. So what I'm going to do is initially when I start to cut this, we're taking off these edges, and it tends to cause some really um, sharp pieces to fly up so what I sometimes have is a piece of perspex across the top here it just stops anything flying up towards me now what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to leave that off to help with the filming but I'm going to put a full face protection on I've got my glasses on, my safety glasses but I'm also going to have a full face um, mask on as well just to stop anything um, hitting my face going in my eyes because you don't want this in your eyes so I'll be back in a moment. OK, I'm going to run the lathe at about 2300 RPM. Uh, I'm also going to put, I've got a, a small extraction system here which is linked up to a hoover so I'm going to put that on. That just takes some of the dust away. Um, but what we're going to do is just basically trim these down now to the bushes um, and we can create any sort of shapes that we want within the blanks. I'm going to make this pretty sort of um, a con uh, convexed on each half so we get a pen that's got like um, a figure eight shape if you like but a very fine figure eight you'll see more as I uh, as I turn it down but uh, let's get on
Okay, I'm happy with that. What I've done is I've turned, turned the two blanks down so as I can, there's barely no ridges on those uh, bushes, between the bushes and the, the blanks. But it's, it's, it's quite uneven at the moment. So what we do now is we clean up, move the, uh, move the rest out of the way, and then we'll start to finish this material. Okay, what we've done, we've cleaned up now. What I'm going to do is turn the lathe down to the minimum speed, and we're going to start to uh, to finish this the blanks off. Now I'm going to do piece 150 grit um, paper first. That will get most of the rough out. Then we're going to go onto a 240, and then we're going to start to use the uh, the microfiber micro mesh um, sanding pads which are wetted um, and then this will start to bring it up to a gloss finish but uh, let's just get on what I'm looking to do with the 150 grit is to get out any major sort of uh, marks from the chisel marks so we'll, uh, we'll do that first So this is a 1500 grit, which is the coarsest of the, of the uh, sanding pads. We'll keep, it, keep the pad wet. You can see that we're starting to lift some of the acrylic off the, uh, the blanks. Just take a, a bit more water.
what I do between each um, grade of, tape, of, of um, sanding pad is just take off any of the, uh, the sanding dust that's left on. You can see that we've uh, got a bit off there that we've cleaned up now. So we've now got a clean pen blank ready to go down to the next grit size which is 1800. Again, a wet pad. Finally, 12,000 grit. That feels good. So just going to dry that off. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some Luster K2. I'm just going to put a little bit, a little dab. Just going to spread that onto the pen bodies, and I turn off now. And now this is the finishing polishing. That looks pretty good. Okay, here's the, the pen bodies that we've just turned on the lathe. Very happy with those. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the ends up because you tend to get a little bit of residue build up. This is the nib end, so we're going to press the nib into the pen body. So we'll put that onto the stop end now that's spool loaded, so it actually holds that in position. Make sure that that's nice and straight, and we'll just press it, press it home. A little firm press. Take that out. And as you can see, that's pressed in there nicely. Now we'll do the cap end, the clip end. I'm sorry. Again, I'm just going to move that up slightly just to compress that. We're going to put the clip onto a point that's not very interesting at the back, so it's going to be this this white area. So again, we're just going to just going to start the press so it's located. Then we'll move the clip round. That's where I want it. And again, firm press home. See that? That's uh, that's the cap the clip end. Now we have the the twist mechanism itself. Now when we press it home, it actually goes in to that end, and we press it in onto that brass it brass onto the brass barrel of the pen, and we go in up until that line. But we're just going to stop short and test it just to make sure it actually works where we want it. So we're just going to press that home like that.
So having stopped just short, you can just see the line at the end. We're now going to assemble the pen, the pen itself, the refill, and we're going to test. And as you can see, that's coming out just right. So that is perfect. The last stage is to put on the, uh, the centre detail, which is just a push home. That fits on there. And then we'll align up. Because we're fully closed, what we'll do is align the pen, de the pen markings. So you can see. Okay. And then that's it. That is one pen finished. Very happy with that.